Immunotherapy is an exciting and fast-growing field, representing a new approach to multiple myeloma treatment. To fully appreciate the promise of myeloma immunotherapy, it is helpful to know a little bit about how the immune system works. The immune system has a number of specialized cells, including B cells, T cells, and macrophages that circulate throughout the body looking for foreign invaders like bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells. In healthy individuals, once an invader is found, these specialized cells attack and destroy it. In patients with multiple myeloma, the immune system does not function properly, which increases the risk for infection and rapid tumor development. What causes the immune system to malfunction in patients with multiple myeloma? Multiple myeloma is a cancer that affects plasma cells, a type of immune cell located in the bone marrow. Normally, plasma cells produce antibodies that help protect the body against infection. In multiple myeloma, the cancerous plasma cells, that is the myeloma cells, crowd out the normal plasma cells. Also, myeloma cells produce defective antibodies called M proteins that are not useful in fighting infection. Because myeloma cells arise from normal plasma cells, they may not be recognized as invaders by the immune system. Myeloma cells can also fool the immune system by disguising themselves in a way that lets them go unnoticed by immune cells. Or they can produce substances that inactivate the immune cells. Immunotherapies are designed to overcome the tactics myeloma cells use to evade, deceive, or overpower the immune system. Some immunotherapies selectively target myeloma cells. What this means is that these therapies work by looking for and attacking proteins that are found on myeloma cells. These proteins are referred to as surface proteins. There are several cell surface proteins targeted by immunotherapy. Let's look at a few of the types of immunotherapy that are already helping revolutionize multiple myeloma treatment. Produced in a laboratory, monoclonal antibodies are specially designed to recognize and attach to myeloma cell surface proteins. Once injected or infused into the body, monoclonal antibodies seek out and attack myeloma cells. Monoclonal antibodies used on their own, which are called naked antibodies, attach to a myeloma cell surface protein, thus flagging the myeloma cell so that the immune system can more easily find and attack it. Some naked antibodies take it a step further, not only flagging the myeloma cell, but also providing a docking station for immune cells, which helps them attach to and attack the myeloma cell more effectively. Another antibody therapy is called an antibody drug conjugate, or ADC, which is a monoclonal antibody that has been combined with a cancer drug. The advantage of this approach is that it combines the myeloma targeting ability of naked antibodies with the myeloma killing effects of the cancer drug. Bispecific antibodies are able to bind to two different cell surface proteins at once. Like naked antibodies, bispecific antibodies attach to surface proteins on the myeloma cell. But bispecific antibodies also bind to surface proteins found on immune cells, specifically T cells which enables them to bring myeloma cells together with the immune cells best suited to fight them. Bispecific T-cell engagers, or bites, are made from two antibody fragments that have been fused together. Bites not only bind to a myeloma cell and an immune cell, but they also activate the immune cell, causing it to release substances that help it destroy the myeloma cell. CAR T-cell therapy, which has made a lot of headlines, involves collecting a patient's T-cells, taking them to a lab to be supercharged through genetic engineering, and reinfusing them into the patient. Once these supercharged T-cells, or CAR T-cells, are back in the body, they use their improved abilities to identify and attack myeloma cells, even those that are trying to fool or hide from the immune system. In clinical trials, CAR T-cell therapy has been able to induce responses in most myeloma patients, even those who have relapsed from many prior therapies. Immunotherapy is an exciting, fast-emerging area of multiple myeloma treatment that is completely different from conventional myeloma therapies. Some immunotherapies have already emerged as leading treatments for some myeloma patients.
To determine whether immunotherapy may be a good option for you, talk to your doctor.